What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gym Report. I'm your host, Pablo. And joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, DC in the news. Top Phillips already putting it out there. No Joker 3. Plastic Man, Brian. This That came out of nowhere. When you, put, when you sent me that, I was like, what? I had to look it up. I'm like, why? But it's James Gunn, and this is his world, and Plastic Man is right up his alley. That is true. Uh, and Keaton counts his money, Brian. Michael Keaton, man. <laughs> Let's start off with No, jo no Joker yeah. 3. Obviously, um, we have uh, Joker 2 coming out. And uh, Todd Phillips made... He made clear of what this movie will be is not going to be totally a, you know, musical type thing as what we were looking at it being. Um, so he made a little sense out of what this movie will be and that there will be no more Joker three unless this movie, do you, first of all, do you think Joker two makes as much money as the first one, Brian? No, I do not. I do not. Um, I think it'll make money. Mm -hmm. Budget is higher, but not not so high that they can't. How make much money. higher? But no. Oh, it's a lot higher. I mean, the first one, I think the total budget is like fifty fifty eight million dollars, and they made one point one billion. Um, and that you know, then Deadpool and Wolverine just broke that record. Um, I don't see this retaking the crown, but I think yeah. the budget for this one's more like one fifty. But I think they'll easily clear six hundred, seven hundred. You know, I mean, just. You take Joaquin off the Oscar. This is an Oscar-winning role for him. Lady Gaga, I think, has respect as an as an artist and a performer. So I think people want mm -hmm. to see that chemistry, um, yeah. and and they can ride the wave of the first one. And so I yeah. think, yeah, I think seven hundred, yeah, seven fifty, very successful. Uh, but I do think it's interesting that he's pulling the he's pulling the James Cameron Terminator, you know, on this where he sort of his quote is, "It was fun to play in this sandbox for two movies, but I think we've said." What we wanted to say in, in this, this world. world. I mean, that's pretty definitive. Like, this is the yeah. story I wanted to tell. I didn't even think about a part three. I couldn't make a part three. Now, you know, if it does make another billion dollars, they'll try to get him to do it. But he seems pretty convicted, you know, and it goes to our discussion about Elseworlds, right? Like, here's the director kind of saying, my part in Elseworlds is done. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we think Matt Reeves is very gently kind of maybe, you know, He's doing his thing with the Batman slowly, but surely, but the other stuff is kind of petering out. And we think that's yeah. the beginning of maybe his, his, his end. His you know? run. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Elseworlds kind of, as we said, it was really about two directors who've made a lot of money for the studio and neither one of them seems to be, you know, they're kind of just wrapping up what they've already been doing. They're not really doing yeah. other stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the right move. I mean, like you got, I mean, look, you just saw, I don't know if you've seen the controversy with Phoenix kind of like quitting on that movie that he kind of conceived and produced like right as they were about to shoot it. Like he's a mercurial guy, like to get him to do this two movies in a row, like you're kind of playing with house money already. Like I, I, I don't know how much you want to go to the well, <laughs> you know, for that, you know, it's like R R Ridley Scott didn't call him the, you know, didn't call some kind of bizarre communist flashback or rewind, you know, in yeah. this gladiator too, right? Like he kind of yeah. left, he kind of left that legacy. So yeah, I think Phillips is pretty smart. And also I think Phillips may be a little scarred from the hangover experience where I don't know that he actually wanted to do three of those, but the money they kind of forced him into it. And hangover three is atrocious, you know? So. Yeah, that is the, 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 I guess the trap that you fall into when they start throwing all these things at you, especially money to, do a second and a third one because they're so successful. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, you know, it's like, I, 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 I think Brian, that I don't know if he had after finishing the first one, did he have a thought of doing the second one already? Or was it's this not clear? Cause he said he initially conceived it as a full Broadway show. And then they kind of ran into the logistical constraints of that. And then they came back to do it as a movie with some musical components. So it kind of almost seems like he wanted to take the ideas and actually put it on into a theater, like not on a big screen. Got it, got it, got it. Um, so yeah, it, it does feel like he had, so it feels like he had an idea, but it doesn't necessarily feel like he wanted that idea to be a, a movie, movie, a traditional yeah. movie. And so now he's oh, yeah. maybe figured out a way to do that. But, so 
By the way, he 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 officially he officially broke your heart though because he said that his Hulk Hogan movie with Chris Hemsworth has been canceled. It's not happening. Oh snap! I thought that he was in the bag. That. He did confirm that. Yeah, because that was such a long time ago that they announced that. Yeah, but he said done, not happening. Wow! I wonder why. Did he say why? Nothing. No, just yeah. Other, Interesting. On other projects. Yep. I, I guess I'll put that on the list of five questions to ask. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that movie, yo? <laughs> that would have been great. That would have been uh, Chris Hemsworth Oscar one right there. So, Plastic Man, Brian. <laughs> How did this? Where did this come from? So apparently, I didn't even remember the original iteration of this. So apparently Darren Aronofsky, pretty well-known director, kind of an eclectic director, Black Swan, The Wrestler, among other things. Apparently back before James Gunn took over the DC Universe, there were talks about him direct making a Plastic Man movie for, for Warner Brothers in DC. Um, but now it's resurfaced that he's been re-engaged in talks with Gunn and Saffron about a Plastic Man ap adaptation. Would this be Elseworlds? Would this be our first sort of one-off from a famous director pitching them an idea? Who knows? But it, it kind of just popped up that this might actually be happening. I won't say I wouldn't want to see it, Brian, because this would be... I mean, if you ask Tracy, Tracy said one time that Batman said that Plastic Man is the most dangerous <laughs> guy in the world. I wouldn't be against watching it or seeing it, Brian. But it's not like I'm clamoring for it. But if they made it, I would watch it. Uh, with excitement, I don't know. Depending on the the on the the trailer, maybe, and curiosity as to the outfit that this guy this guy would wear, right? Because he he has a pretty lame outfit. Um, it, it would be it, it would be curious to see this appear at the same time that Reed Richards is appearing in the Marvel universe. You know, given that he's similar powers and effects, not the same background, right? One's a criminal, one's a scientist, but similar, similar visual effects. The other funny tidbit to this, which I was not aware of, is that apparently one of the other reasons this might happen is that James Gunn pitched Warner Brothers a Plastic Man movie before he did The Suicide Squad, and they said no. I mean, with Aaron, with Aronofsky, like he's one of those. It could be anything, correct? Like his best stuff gets nominated for Oscars. His worst stuff is unwatchable. Like you just have no idea. Like I have no idea what you're gonna get. He's kind of weird. Like his stuff is kind of weird, like visually and creatively. So I must be some idea for this to have gotten this far. I doubt that major budget will be given to such a film. Um, but still, nonetheless. With that in mind, in terms of the possibilities of a movie made by this guy and what it could do and what it could be, and James Gunn possibly being me, you know, rooting for it, then it is quite possible that this movie will get made. I don't know if it'll come out around the same time as, um, I think it'll probably be something after Fantastic Four. Probably. But like if we never heard, it, heard from it again, Brian, I'd be like, did we talk about Plastic Man? Because <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> it will be forgotten. It will be forgotten. And now, <laughs> you got to read this guy quote, Brian. Michael Keaton collecting checks. I have so much respect for this guy to just tell it like it is and like say what we all know so often happens. In Not Hollywood. beating around the bush whatsoever. Right, and like, and like, you know, listen, Michael Keaton coming back to play Batman years later was exciting. Like the idea of it is exciting. And like, you know, the Flash did not go commercially the way that anyone hoped. He was fine in it. He was probably one of the best parts of it. And yeah. then he agreed to do it again for Batgirl, which will never see the light of day. 
But <laughs> his quote to GQ, they asked him, was he upset when Warner Brothers scrapped back? <laughs> quote, no, I didn't care one way or another. Big, fun, nice check. End quote. <laughs> I, could, I could imagine him saying it. I could imagine him saying it. And then he doubled down because obviously, as we know, the directors of that film, the directors who did the last two Bad Boys movies, uh, they've done some stuff. And so he said, quote, I like those boys. They're nice guys. I pull for them. I want them to succeed. And I think they felt very badly. So that made me feel bad. But me, I'm good. I'm good. That's it. Another day at the office. See, that's Damn. why. Yeah. And that's why I listen. Like, this is this is topical because, you know, we're talking about like RDJ and like, you know, the, the hype is real and they're saying all the right things. But but this this is really what makes these things happen right yeah yeah the check clears and it's all good i'm good it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what comes after he just told you it doesn't it doesn't matter where the movie gets this movie will get seen by zero people yeah and his response i don't care because the check clears. exactly exactly and i think for him brian it's like that because he's been in the game for so long for he's others, been at the highs, he's been at the lows. Yep. For those other people, like uh, I forgot her name, Leslie Grace, who was, uh, um, who played Bad Girl. Mm -hmm. This was her big moment, I think. Yeah. So for them and those other new people who who had a part in in, in Bad Girl, for them, this is this it 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 sucks because this was the opportunity to be, you know display to the world their acting chops whatever the case may be whatever this movie was going to be if bad girl was as horrible as people say it was they should be counting their blessings that is not being shown because well, those are the sort of things that ruin careers yeah i i don't well you know speaking of right like the crow is getting released and as we predicted it probably shouldn't have. I mean, this movie yeah. is getting reviled <laughs> by critics. But I will say, Michael Keaton has made very clear, if there's ever an attempt at a release the Batgirl movement, he will not be taking their call. Batgirl from Jump Street. I felt like this was going to be a disaster. It served no purpose. And we were supposed to believe... That this is just, it comes back to a conversation we had, Brian, about believability. Right? What we would have seen, Brian, is probably similar to what we saw with Batwoman. The CW show? Yeah. In that same vein. Nobody really cared. Nobody really, What what is this? No Batman, what is this? Yeah. It's a good thing that that movie never came out, Brian, because careers would have been ruined and it was just would have wasted time. It would have been a, a Rebel Moon situation, a waste of time, Brian. We got to we got to do a show on 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 that, on him at some point. That's a separate show, maybe for next week on him. That the the luster might be off finally. We'll see. But um, oh, but yeah, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. People have probably come to their senses now. But yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the. I mean, nobody really cared. Nobody, I don't think nobody was really interested in seeing the Joker 2, really. It's just that it made so much money that we're getting a Joker 2 and. We're gonna come out and go see it. I, I I didn't see. I still haven't seen the first one in in its completion, Brian. And I don't probably think I'll probably see this one, even though we, I've heard great things about the performances. But in terms of the movie, I was watching some, and it's just it just wasn't something that I was getting into. Let us know uh, also what you guys think about the possibility of a plastic man. That is interesting, but. Also, a movie that if it doesn't happen, Brian, 
I won't lose sleep over it, right? Yeah, same. And uh, Keaton, being Keaton, man, that dude is always entertaining. That's all I can say. He is my childhood memory of Keaton is Mr. Mom and Johnny Dangerously. Those are the movies that I grew up watching with Keaton, yo. Well, the funny thing is he's about to make even more money because I saw the projected opening weekend for Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is big. Big. What, where, where is it at? Like 100 something? Uh, like, you, like U.S., it's like 80 million, like opening okay. weekend. There's a, I mean, there's again, there's a lot of fans of the original that are going to come out. And I'm pretty sure they're going to show reruns of the old movies. And, and you know, it's going to come out because that was a performance. Beetlejuice was a performance. That's Keaton's, one of Keaton's highlights right there. So he's going to do it again. And uh, we'll see. And, and then you got other names like Jenna Ortega and some of the OGs coming back from the original, right? Went on a rider. Yep. So it's going to be very interesting to see. I never really got into the the first beat. I saw it, but it wasn't my yeah, thing. Right. No, agreed. my wife loves it though. My wife loves it, so I'll take her to go see it. But let us go on, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, all, all that's happening in DC news. Um, Brian, there hasn't been any Superman stuff as of late, right? Uh, only other the only that thing, is right. Only thing was James. Yeah, only thing James Gunn saying it's done and he doesn't need reshoots. And we couldn't get a trailer. I think it's nothing. Think it's sooner than you think. He's got all the footage now. You think, okay, you think it's sooner than you think? What's the timeline? Well, so obviously Joker 2 is an opportunity in the theater. That's a Warner Brothers movie, right? So there's an mm -hmm. opportunity there. I still think you got the Christopher Reeve documentary in September. It's an okay. opportunity, maybe an opportunity there. So I, I think I still think it's coming. I don't think we're gonna have to wait till the Super Bowl to see it. So by by before October? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, September, October. I think we get it. Okay. All right, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on! Yeah!